Hey guys, Nick here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to properly um, do a pre-trip and things and how and what to do um, with the Georgia tractor driving CDE operations. So one of the first things on the list, um, well not on the list, but one of the first things that I do and I've made a habit with whatever I'm checking in the vehicle is the tires. And this is on the list. Gotta check that, that, that the air is good in the tires. And you're gonna wanna check the lug nuts. Those are things on the checklist. So a after checking the tires, you're gonna wanna check the things that are underneath the hood. And on this John Deere 5320, um, this is the way I do it. You're gonna check your engine oil. You're gonna check your coolant. You're gonna check. You're gonna check your belt. And you're gonna check your battery, which on the 5320 is right here up in the front. And uh, you're making sure that the levels are all correct and that the battery is there and that the and the connections are all good and secure. Walking to the back of the tractor. I'm going to check my hydraulic fluid right here. And I'm going to check my fuel. Make sure I have adequate fuel. And all of these levels, they need to be at good operating levels. Now there are safety things on the tractor. One of the big things is the rollover protection system. You have to point that out. You have to check out your PTO shield right here. Make sure it's safe and secure. Come and do the front. You're gonna check your seatbelt. Make sure it's there and operating correctly. You're gonna check your, your brake lock. So when you're driving out on the road, say you hit one brake, you're not gonna go crazy. Another thing is your kill switch or your parking brake. Some of the things that they're going to check for when you start is when you get on the tractor. Make sure that you mount the tractor the proper way. And the proper way to mount the tractor is to put your left foot here, put your hand right here, or holding on to something over here, and then hold on to something else pull yourself up the very first thing that you do when you get on buckle up very first thing the seatbelt is a hundred points and that is a lot of points now once you're on the tractor and buckled up you are good to start the tractor all right the best way to start the tractor put your foot on the clutch and if the tractor's already been running, uh, then you don't need to do this. But if it's say you're doing a cold start, you want to turn it to the accessory mode, let the glow plugs warm up, and then when the light says you can you can turn it on, you turn it on, and you don't let that clutch out until you know that every that this thing is in neutral and everything is all good. And then you let the clutch off. That's the way I do it. In fact, you should even be checking all of this stuff before you even start it. When you're backing up to the implement, the best way to do this is to be facing backwards and have your hand right here. So the camera is my face. This is what I should be seeing. And I want to be backing up with my left hand on the steering wheel and my right hand holding the roll bar so that way I'm always looking back and when you're backing up you know the, the whole wheel thing when you make adjustments make tiny adjustments to the wheel because when you oversteer that's when you start getting your problems so now we're, we are at the implement now what you have to do is you have to put it Say, say you're in gear right now. You want to take it, put it in park, put it in neutral, shut the tractor off, unbuckle, 
and you want to get off the tractor the proper way, same way that you got up. You want to turn around, put your hand over here, put your put your right hand over there, step down with with your your the front of your body needs to be facing that way. You're going to come around here. So, this is how it's going to be set up. What you're going to do is you're going to get this pin over here. You're going to get this pin. This is what you're going to have to do, except with two hands. It's hard to do it with one hand with a camera. You're going to drop this in. This little thing. Hold on one second. And put it in just like so, so it's attached. When you get that done, mount the tractor the right way. Your hand over here, your right hand over here, your foot right there. Pull yourself back on. Sit down. Put your seat belt back on. Start the tractor up. And when you pull out, you don't want to be hitting any cones. Because when you hit a cone, that's a good amount of points. Okay, so we've gone through so we've gone through the curve. Alright. And now we're gonna back this implement up back into what's called the shed where they, where it needs to be. And the way you want to do that, you for me, and the way I was taught is you want to be in a very low gear so in this tractor for me i always go in in a1 no excuse me my bad We're, that's forward i'm going to want to be in reverse so it's going to be ar to be backing up and that's that's very slow you want to keep your revs down and you want to back this puppy up slowly making very small hand movements with the wheel because if you make too much movement on that wheel, it's gonna jackknife pretty fast. And when you do that, you're gonna you're gonna go to the point of no return. You got to pull up. You got to pull up, and that's points taken off. And you don't want that. So when you get the implement into the shed, you're gonna turn the tractor off. Make sure it's in park. Unbuckle. Dismount the correct way. Hand over here, foot right there. You're gonna come back here. You're gonna unpull that. And in the competition, you're just gonna throw this on the ground. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna measure it before you even touch the uh, the pin to make sure it's even on each side. Because when you take this off. It's going to move. You see? And when you set it down, it's going to be it's going to be in a different position. Climb back up the proper way. Ugh. Hurry up, put your seatbelt on. Start your engine. Put it in gear. Put it in Put it in C3. Wouldn't not see a three. That's low, that's very excessive and very fast. And go. And when you cross that finish line, you're done.